Hello everyone, I'm Vikramaditya here and welcome to JH Soft Tech. In this session, I'm going to discuss how to become highest paid SAP consultant. With my experience of 16 years in the SAP field, I have laid down certain steps and created it as a roadmap which you can follow and become a highest paid SAP consultant. Now the steps that I'm discussing here are something which I prepared on my own and you can give me some suggestions or additions or enhancements to this particular steps so that I can inculcate them in the future sessions. Now, with that note, let's see how to become a highest paid SAP consultant. Now, before getting into the concept of what are the steps that you have to take uh, to get to the to, to become the highest paid SAP consultant, we just first have to analyze from the employees perspective why employees will pay you more if at all if there are a couple of consultants already existing around you and uh, you have to become the highest paid SAP consultant uh, among all of them then what exactly would make the employer comfortable to make to give you or pay you more is what we need to uh, look from the employer's perspective. Now, when we see from the employer's perspective, we need to understand what the ex employer expects from a highest paid employee. Now, what the employers look for uh, in the in the in the employees would be these things: multi-talented. Now, what do I mean by multi-talented? They need to be able capable of uh, managing uh, certain tasks like uh, doing the technical stuff managing a team doing the reporting updating the status uh, at a, in a right way and ex and being uh, living up to the expectations of the project so this is something which we have the multi talented in which you know uh, you, you need to have the right kind of uh, email ethics uh, communication ethics and all this stuff and you need to also understand the understand the uh, company's policies and uh, the clients expectations so accordingly if you if you get into that and learn those things and become talented you 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 you, you are assumed to be a multi-talented uh, uh, employee and in multi-talented you also get into the non non sap or non-technical stuff as well and there are a lot of stuff that we have um, and uh, yeah so uh, going ahead with the extracurricular activities like uh, you know managing the team in a right way encouraging them motivating them and having uh, you know a good team spirit and all this stuff is all uh, you know uh, being a part of multi talented uh, employee and then the next would be flexible now i have seen most of the sap consultants with high experience are not flexible now what do i mean by flexibility is if at all if you are an sap fic or finance consultant and you have a small piece of uh, configuration that needs to be done on the material management part you're simply going to say that this is not my cup of tea and when you say that uh, you are actually uh, making your boundaries that this is my area and i'm not getting to it so there is a kind of a comfort zone uh, i just the employers do understand that but we need to uh, we need to move on jump out of our comfort zone when 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 the when the time needs it and, and when the employer expects it from us especially and if everything goes well uh, you would be highly appreciated for what you have done and uh, and this would be something uh, you have to take uh, from the when the employer insists you to do so now other than that we have a lot of other things in flexibility like time flexibility or duration flexibility or kind of you know flexibility in your your mindset actually and you can have you you need to be a quick learner because sap is a fast changing fast upgrading technology and we wherein you have to learn new things which are coming into uh, our, our way 
and um, not just our way even in even forecasting the future of a project as well we need to learn and uh, the ability to learn quickly and implement them in the sap projects are highly recommended or uh, this is a very desirable skill of any employee not just in sap even outside sap also if you observe uh, quick learning is supposed to be a boon and the the reason why can companies hire people who have highest ex highest percentages in your academics is because they assume that you are a quick learner so quick learners have been picked up always and you you just uh, and i have seen a lot of people after the academics they just close their mind and they don't learn they they, they feel that you know once you have got the job that you are, you are your your job of learning ends no learning is a continuous process so that is what something we need to understand and um, uh, we need to keep learning upgrading ourselves according to the industry or sap industry and then you have to be a solution provider if a client comes up with a uh, with a uh, issue or a, um, they have concern then that issue or a task or a ticket needs to be solved uh, and we need to solve it in our on our own and that solution ultimately how you are solving it doesn't matter whether you have given a solution to the client is very very important so when you give a, a solution to the client it means that you have done the complete cycle and that's very important and when you have uh, you, you also are expected to be a techno functional for example if you are an sap fico consultant or sap mm consultant you are supposed to know the basics of abap technical stuff and fury as well so a techno functional is the most desirable uh, uh, position that uh, employers would be looking for so if you tell if you are technical consultant you should know a basics of configuration and the functional part but this what happens here is there is a uh, there is a sink sink uh, we need to we need to have a kind of a a kind of a communication proper kind of a communication between the technical team and the functional team which can be done by someone who knows both of them so this integration of a different teams is very important and that can be done by someone who is a techno functional consultant and going forward when we have more experience you're supposed to broaden your knowledge and if you if if you have the exact knowledge of uh, a 3 years consultant after 8 years of experience doesn't actually bring a uh, bring a uh, something a value addition to the company or the project so the value addition to the company or a project comes not with the number of years of experience that you have but the kind of a uh, uh, an skill set that you have you keep you have to keep expanding and uh, expanding your your skill set that's very very important now the positive attitude extremely important the uh, in, in especially in uh, in in the moments where we have a panic situation in the project or when we when we have the worst uh, going through worst phases of when the project is going going through the worst phases of the uh, project you need to have extremely positive attitude and a hope that everything going to be fixed very soon so with that hope you 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 can fix it up uh, faster than you know than people who actually lost hope communication is extremely important especially when you are we are doing through within the within the organization within the team as well as when you are communicating with the communicating with the client what happens is the same status that we are updating to the team or uh, team lead or the project or project manager or the client can be in two different ways like uh, one is a completely acceptable way of uh, communication and when uh, one which is completely unacceptable so you need to make sure that if you are in that place of client will that will the way that you communicate to the client is acceptable or not so we need to be in the other other person shoes and just think about it so that like the communication becomes well good now you we need to upgrade to the latest skill set for example if you are already working on sap fico you are supposed to upgrade your skills to s4 hana uh, and uh, you know in in, in s4 hana again what exactly are the features that we have been added in the latest latest uh, version and how different is the sap s4 hana cloud implementation from the sap s4 hana on premise implementation so these are all the things that we have to explore and learn 
other than all of these uh, the companies the employers who hire you expect you to have a full life cycle projects the number of full life cycle projects or full life cycle implementation projects you have will increase your demand in the market and also it's not just that you 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 just claim that you have you have already worked in a full life cycle project you also have to have the complete knowledge of what are the documents that you are using what are the roles and responsibilities that you are doing in in different phases of the uh, implementation project that's extremely important Now you can add few more uh, few more features on each of these topics. For example, if you have multi-talented, maybe in multi-talented I might have missed something. You can add it in the, in the comments comment box in the in the below section. And then we have flexibility. Uh, how how do you think uh, uh, the employees have to be flexible? But these points maybe I've explained in my own way. But these are the points which are common for every employer being hiring. Uh, any any employer is hiring uh, a prospective employees. Uh, they they expect these things. And if you all have all of them or at least few of them, your chances of being paid more than any other SAP consultants would be uh, higher. The chances of you getting paid is. Uh, paid more is higher now what exactly uh, multi-talented means and why do we actually need to have multi-talented uh, uh, experience for example if you have FICO and uh, you need to also know SAP S4 HANA finance now I have seen people who who have learned directly ABAP on HANA and they don't know the basics of ABAP so these kind of a uh, consultants who I just learned the latest version and not the past version might have a challenge in getting a break but I, but in this session we are not talking about the break we are talking about the uh, being becoming a highest paid uh, uh, SAP consultant so when you have to become an SAP highest paid SAP consultant you need to have multi-talented uh, uh, ability you should have been worked on support project implementation project and if possible or if if the if the chances are there, rollout project and upgradation migration project as well. So these are these are all the things that uh, a multi talented SAP consultant should have. When you when when I say you have to become a techno functional consultant, you need to have a BAP with FICO, a BAP with MM, a BAP with SD, a BAP with HR, or UI five, a BAP with S four HANA finance. So these are the most desirable skill set that you need to have for uh, becoming an highest paid SAP consultant. Now, 90% of the SAP consultants are focused on their job and ignore upgrading themselves to the latest advancements. That's where uh, SAP consultants uh, may feel that they have less demand in the market. SAP technologies in general have highest demand in the market. There's no doubt about it. But an individual person who's not getting uh, enough calls for a job change might think that, you know, uh, SAP has is drowning or you no know, SAP project uh, demand is decreasing no SAP is upgrading its technologies and they would like to hire someone who have better skill set so if at all if you're applying as a basic ABAP developer you might not get calls or you might not be you know a desirable candidate for the jobs but if you have something like ABAP with HANA ABAP as well as UI5 Fury, you are the most desirable person and you, you might get a lot of calls, multiple calls from multiple companies and you would be hired with a, a very good package, very attractive package as well. So here, either you have to continuously upgrade yourself and get into a better better uh, package or you become isolated, uh, isolated, you feel isolated that you know, you're know you not getting any jobs and you're not being appreciated. That's mainly because we, we might have uh, stopped upgrading our uh, our skill set so this is now is the time to upgrade your skills so you need to learn sap hana and s4 hana irrespective of in which uh, module you are working in and what multiple modules you are handling uh, you need to have the good knowledge on sap uh, working knowledge on hana and s4 hana then you need to also have a very good knowledge on SAP UI5 theory because this is where we the end users will actually look the, look at the data 
which you have actually uh, done from the from the back end so workflow and you know fury based workflow is also in place so you you might have to also get hands on on that as well desirable uh, skills would be hands on but you can also have a good knowledge that would also help you to get into a better uh, better sap uh, job and you also need to have a good knowledge in sap cross applications and if at all if time permits there are two things that you can do and which are the last uh, you know um, uh, suggestions that i would give you these are not important but you can consider them i've seen people getting a good break or a, a better perspective after doing these things one is the post graduation degree if at all if you don't have a post graduation degree consider doing a post graduation on a distance mode uh, and uh, complete it and uh, that would actually increase your po po prospects and the second uh, most important thing is uh, being having a certification the sap certification so sap certification again would be a, a would play a very minor role the major role would be your knowledge because sap uh, can sap certification is something which a few of the uh, em clients will give emphasis on only then the company will come back to you and uh, ask you for the certification for example there was a there was a middle east company who was uh, who was insisting on each one each and every consultant who works in their project have to be certified then back home our software company insisted all the employees to get certified and then come come to that project so that that kind of uh, uh, you know customized uh, requirements might be there for this it will it will help you to uh, grow your your your, your career Thanks for watching this video and if you have any suggestions that you would like to share from your side and with from your experiences or your thoughts uh, and would like to give it uh, give it as a suggestion to me please do write it in the comment box so that I'll read it and try to inculcate those things in our, in our next uh, video and I, I'm sure there would be certain topics or certain suggestions which I did might be liked by few and might not be liked by few that's 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 very natural but your suggestions would definitely help me to enhance and do a better videos in the future also uh, it would also help the community to grow so that would be kind of a good com good contribution for the community okay thank you and if you do if at all if you have still not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe at youtube youtube.com slash slash jsoftech and if at all if you're looking out for any trainings you can contact us at training at the jsoftech.com and if at all if you're looking out for any jobs you can look at jobs at the jsoftech.com thank you have a great day